This is what an area of outstanding natural beauty looks like, Chichester Harbour, a playground for the people who live here. They might love being on the water, but many worry about what could be in it. Paul Sardar would happily float for hours in his kayak. He calls himself a citizen scientist. He's so concerned about sewage pollution, he's taking water samples to be tested. The harbours, we love them. We spend lots of time in there on a weekly basis. And uh, we love them for their, the scenery, the wildlife. What we find difficult is that the, the creatures that live in this harbour are being harmed by the pollution that goes into it. I find it upsetting when we're out and we see condoms, toilet paper and excrement floating in the sea. This community is now taking matters into their own hands. They're part of a growing movement of people across the country who've lost faith in the Environment Agency's ability to protect England's waterways. They've organised a mass testing of the water. Their samples will be tested for pharmaceuticals and pesticides. Why not just leave this to the Environment Agency? I feel like they've had an awfully long time to deal with this and they keep on saying that you know they're going to do something about it and year after year passes and it still seems to be the same problems. By starting projects, citizen science projects like this, it gives us a sense of hope that maybe we can take a bit of control and we can actually push for positive change. But it's not just sewage in the harbour that people are worried about. Nearby is the River Lavant. This is a chalk stream, considered to be one of the rarest and most precious rivers in England. Yet for more than six months last year, untreated sewage was discharged into this river from the local treatment works. The Environment Agency says the treatment works is being overwhelmed by groundwater, which is rainfall that's made its way underground. It's getting into broken pipes, it's mixing with the sewage, and then it's discharging untreated into the river. Citizen scientist Rob Bailey has been watching it discharging for days on end. Oh, sad, actually. The heart drops, doesn't it? When one sees that, that sort of thing, um, um, and one starts to realise the, the um, negative impact it's having on the environment. This is one of the many chalk streams that we have in, the, in this area which should be just thriving with life. And but this marine biologist says it's not thriving. Can you explain what that white grey stuff is? So that is a film of bacteria. So they, they're feeding off the organic matter, the faeces that's coming out of that sewage treatment plant. And it smothers the plant life as well. But there's loads of other chemicals coming out there. It will be our shampoos, our shower gels, our washing up liquids. It will be the pharmaceuticals that we take that don't get fully broken down in us. And the other thing that's obvious, um, just a little way further upstream, there's a lot of life in the river, there's a lot of plant life. You can see a lot of greenery on the riverbed, but then downstream of this sewage treatment plant. It's just devoid of, of any, any plant life. Sewage coming out of another Southern Waterworks last October. The company insists most of the release was rainwater. Last year, they were fined a record £90 million for what the judge called a shocking and wholesale disregard for the environment. Southern Water says, we know that we need to do more to deliver the environmental improvements our customers expect and we're spending £2 billion across our network to make these changes as quickly as possible. We're working closely with the Environment Agency. It's not just the grown-ups that want action. Ruthie is so upset, she wrote to Southern Water to complain. It feels like sometimes because we're kids we can't get listened to by these big corporations like Southern Water and writing the letter felt like my way of trying to get my voice out there and get the voice of the people here out there. You just want to have fun and play and sail in the harbour. You just don't want to fall in anymore and jump in because it's just really disgusting. The Environment Agency says agriculture is a major contributing factor to pollution in Chichester Harbour. They say we're currently reviewing our enforcement approach to the situation at the Lavent Wastewater Treatment Works and they say we're working with Southern Water to reduce the impact to the River Lavant. The water is such an important part of people's lives here, they're determined to protect it.
they're impatient for change. Zoe Conway, BBC News, West Sussex.